Well, hello, everybody. Here we are again. So this time we're on Headquarters Road in Litchfield, looking straight ahead at the road going to the center of Milton. Uh, we've gone on the road going, Sawmill Road, off to the um, left here, but I thought I'd take us straight on to the green in Milton so that you could get a view of that beautiful, beautiful green um, from this side. We're going to go all the way from here in the sort of western central part of Litchfield over into, let's see, first we're going to kind of hit a little bit of Warren and then we're going to hit a little bit of Cornwall and we're almost going to hit a little bit of Goshen. Uh, but so we're in, so going to end up in sort of the northwestern corner of Litchfield. So here is this wonderful bit of headquarters that's uh, dirt road. I've always liked this bit of road a lot, uh, and especially the way it comes out in Milton. Um, I've sort of said before that Milton is kind of one of those magical places that got lost in time. It's, it's a wonderful New England green that kind of didn't develop past say 1830 so here we go then we're coming up on it it's opening up you can see the uh, I think I always get them confused I think that's the Episcopal Church and we'll turn past the Congregational and straight ahead there is a little uh, town building that we often did music in So we've just turned on to the Milton Road, and we're going to go back. We've, we've come on this road in the other direction. Uh, really amazing little houses all the way along here. I would be happy as a clam to live in anything in Milton. It's, oh, and now we get to look at, this is the house I always say is my mother's favorite house. Um, that's one of my favorite to look at and reminds me of her. So we came the other way on this but but we're doing something different. We're going to turn down off of this uh, onto and I've forgotten the name of this road. The cool thing about going down here is we get to see, well there's another older cemetery but it also goes off um, sort of almost almost into Warren and then almost into Goshen. So there's the cemetery. Oh, at the bottom of here, I'm, I'm going to show you one of the beginnings of the Chapog. And this is a little bit of water that's going to run down into the Chapog. Um, reservoir, but it just shows you what what little bits of water there were to start off the Chapog River. So I have very warm feelings about up here because this is what you know is the beginnings, the birth of the Chapog River. This has a funny name, like something like Marshapog, which um. It's up above. Oh, a little sign saying it's a Litchfield Bridge. And oh, I think I bumped into this a little bit when I was trying to look at that water. Isn't that wonderful how sort of deep and dark that looks? Well, it's not that deep, but it's, it has a nice somber brown look to it. So that's my 2017 uh, Triumph. It's called a Street Scrambler. And you'll notice it has a GB on the side. It also has uh, the rondelle for the, the British Air Force. And the reason all that is on there is just, uh, my first motorcycle license. I had to get a license in Great Britain. And uh, it was not an easy thing to do. So I'm, I've always been proud that I had a you know, a, a license in, in Great Britain in 
1970. Uh, this is just a beautiful hillside here. The one thing about this part of the world, with, with all of this water lying on the ground, oh, I, I'm trying to remember why, oh, I wanted to make sure that the camera was okay. It felt like it was pointing down just a little bit too far, so I sort of stopped just to make sure that I had it in the right spot. And then we're going to keep going. What I was going to say is, is because there's a little bit of standing water in this part of uh, town, I always think about mosquitoes when you have standing water, but there's a sort of swamp off on one side and uh, standing water on the other side in all of these little valleys when they come down. That house has just been brought back in the most beautiful, beautiful way. I went by there one day and they were putting on a one of those uh, Connecticut Valley uh, heavy molded doorways, which uh, it just looks spectacular on that house. So as we go up this hill, the top of that hill, there's a farm that's half in Litchfield and half in Warren. And if you go around the corner and up the hill, uh, you're in Cornwall. So <laughs> in about a two and a half mile uh, radius, you could go from up here. You could be. You could say, well, right now we're in we're in Warren. Well, we're in Warren if you're on the left-hand side of the road, and we're in Litchfield if you're on the right-hand side of the road. But a little bit further up, it's all Cornwall. So, and I can't tell from looking at the... Um, I think there's a little sign somewhere, but... Uh, so we're going to be in Cornwall for a little bit uh, on this piece of road. And again, like, uh, when it is in different towns, this, this road has different names. I think this is called the South Road here. And, uh, uh, there are so many nice people that live up in this area. Oh, up, up around this corner, there's uh, the most amazing corner where the big rock next to a house. And this house is um, really kind of amusing because the road has to completely work its way around it. So the, the house is sort of in the middle of the road and there's a big turn and then here is this huge rock. And I, I don't know why, I, I just, I love it when there's big rocks uh, <laughs> on the side of the road. I mean, nobody put that there. That's That's been there since the ice put it there. So this straightaway, somewhere along here, it's gonna go from being um, Warren, where we are now, to being uh, Cornwall. Now also, off on your left, if we went down into the valley there, I don't know if you could see it, but uh, the top part of the Chapog Reservoir is back down in there. So, I guess we're in the northeastern corner of Warren right now. And on the right hand side of the road we're in the south western part of Goshen so go figure there, there was probably about a two year period I would stop all the way along here and look at my smartphone and see what town it said I was in <laughs> so I don't know why things like that fascinate me but they do isn't that pretty land? So this opens up on all sides, and we're going to be coming down onto one of the college roads. The reason they use the word college in it, that a lot of this land belonged to Yale. And even going over into Warren, when uh, we'll go over that way, we'll come on to College Farm Road. And I can't, I, I should have made a little list of what all the names of these roads are, but. Uh, I'm going to take you off to the right for just a second. So this is all, this is truly Cornwall right here. 
and there's a little road going off to the left that will would take you back to what's called Great Hill in Cornwall, which is above the uh, Mohawk Ski Area. And we're going back, just for a second, we're going back towards Milton, and I'm going to stop and turn around right on the Goshen Line. So right now we're in Cornwall. I, I'm telling you guys, this took a lot of research for me to figure this out. <laughs> so right now we're in Cornwall, and down below here there was some work on the road. Again, look at all that water off on the on the right. All of that's that's the water that potentially is going to be the Chapog River. Very exciting for me. Okay, so this bit of work in the road here, that's Goshen. We're not going to Goshen, we're going to turn around. <laughs> um, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of how close the, the four towns are to each other in this one spot. I mean, I guess there's got to be a spot when you have a map that you're going to have a lot of towns in, in one place, but I just think that's kind of interesting. So from here, we're going to go straight straight ahead. And again, I, I think this is... I'll write it underneath what the names of these are, but I think this is something like College Street. And uh, we're... If we keep going straight here, it's going to turn to dirt. And, uh, oh, this is another one of those places. You wouldn't think up here that it, the road would get busy. But all sorts of things started happening. Isn't that a beautiful place? So I pulled off up here, and then I looked ahead of me and said, Well, I don't want to pull off where the trash is. So I looked at that those trash things and said, Well, maybe I'll go up a little further. And I'll... Just wait for a minute for all the everybody to go by. And then I think there were like, I don't know, five different things that happened. So this piece of road up ahead of us is going to go over to Warren. And it's it's uh, one of those really great little back roads and uh, um, a ton of fun to ride. Uh, this is Flat Rocks Road. And... The kids that lived over in Warren, if they wanted to go to Torrington uh, and they wanted to get there sort of the quietest way possible, let's say, this is the road. And uh, it's sort of fun to have all these sort of little back tracks that nobody's on. Well, for a road that nobody's on, there's, there's quite a bit of activity going on down here. I'm not quite sure what it is, but there are moments where you'll see it's some beautiful cars. I mean, I, I saw a Rolls Royce back here parked uh, behind a Porsche, parked behind two Audis and a BMW. And I, I don't know what was going on, but um, somebody was having some fun. But isn't that pretty? This is an exceptionally interesting road to ride in the winter. Um, I come down here a lot uh, late fall and uh, after the first few snows and it it's just a blast and a half riding this road I love riding on the roads that you know it could be 50 years ago you know there's a lot of the land around here just has not changed We're going to be coming down into a valley where there's some more of the water that will go off to the Chapog. Here at the bottom, there's a, a nice bridge. This is a one lane bridge. It's one of those places you got to be really careful about who's where. And so, a bit of tar and then right away it's back to rough dirt and I've said before it's kind of easier going up hill when it turns to dirt there we go when I stand up that's because we're getting onto road that's a little bit more complicated to ride um, 
my little bike doesn't have the most it doesn't have a fancy uh, suspension system it has, you know it's just some pretty uh, old world springs on the back and and uh, the shock absorbing isn't isn't spectacular so the only way around that is uh, to stand up I mean what you know when you were riding a horse I don't know if you ever noticed that people when they're trotting they do something called posting and this is much the same you stand up so that you're not getting rattled by all the bumps in the road It really could be 50 years ago looking at this road. So it's nice to have a few miles of um, dirt for the for the motorcycle. Uh, one of the main reasons I have this bike is that I, I don't have to worry about hurting it on this kind of roads. And uh, I'm extremely pleased to have something that, that'll put up with it. Okay, so now we're back on tar, and this is flat, flat rocks. It's funny the things you remember. Uh, something like 1972, the kids from Wamogo and the kids from Litchfield, I remember they had a big, big old party right up here where the, there's going to be a turnoff. Right here, there's flat rocks right underneath the road, and... Uh, I remember, I think you would call it a keg party, but uh, the kids from two towns just got together there in the middle of the summer, and uh, they were out enough in the woods that nobody knew and nobody cared. So again, this is a tar road. You might be saying, why is he standing up? Well, it's a very, very bumpy road. So I'm, I'm standing because it's more comfortable and also it makes the picture sort of more exciting for you guys. I guess we're getting a little bit of light from uh, the late afternoon coming in from the west there. But right now we're going uh, due south and that light from the right hand side is from the sun. Well, of course, <laughs> of course it's from the sun. Oh, uh, well. So down a little ways here, there's going to be, the road's going to go off to the right. And on that corner, that, that section of road, maybe this is too, is called Melius Road. And when I was a kid, one of the other uh, artists for the area here was Cleve Gray. And I think his father-in-law was the sculptor Alexander Lee. Lieberman. Um, I think I have that right, but it may not be right. But uh, they were, you know, again, friends of the Calders and were some of the people that would go to those, you know, the Christmas party. But gee, what a beautiful part of town this is. So going, going south here, the reservoir would be off in the valley to the left of us. Here we are at the big corner. So that property right there, that, that's where Cleve Gray was, the Liebermans, I think. They, they, uh, they weren't awfully close friends, so it's, I don't remember going there a lot. Now this piece of road is another one like gold mine over in uh, Roxbury that just, there's one of those little snake signs, so whoopee, <laughs> here we go. Um, and this is one of those bits of road you have to keep your wits about you. There, there's a lot of bumps and there's a lot of turns. So you put bumps together with turns and, you know, it's easy to lose traction. So this is just one, you know, growl to the left and a sweep to the right and a, a back and forth. There are bits of road that I think about in my sleep. And <laughs> this is one of them. Wow. 
Look at that. Get ready. It truly is like skiing when you're when you're doing this. It's like a slalom course. What a gift to have a road like that to ride on. So, now we are coming down onto the main main road. Um, let's see. This is 45 that goes over. If we go in the opposite direction from this, we'd be going down to Route 7. And this is coming into the center of Warren. And we're going to... Uh, Warren is a beautiful little village. Really wonderful people. So the old store is over there. Uh, and then up on this hillside above us, there's a very, very nice church right there. So since I had a car in front of me, I thought, well, why don't I just go have a quick look at that church? Because that'll give that car a chance to get away and we can have an open road afterwards. So this is the um, Warren Fire Department is up ahead and the old town hall and library were right there. And this is another one of those just pretty as, pretty as a birthday cake is what it is. Isn't that nice? So my nanny, Mrs. Orschler, went to that church. Uh, uh, Mrs. Orschler grew up uh, in Germany, of course, uh, and then came to uh, Warren, Connecticut, uh, sort of strategically just before the flood of 55 happened. And sadly, her husband died around the same time. So she very quickly uh, asked my mother if she could, uh, you know, sort of take care of me. But I know that church from Mrs. Orschler. Uh, anyway, Mrs. Orschler was kind, kind of like what you would call a nanny. She uh, took care of me and my mom went out and got a job so that Mrs. Orschler could get paid. And we got the elementary school coming up on the left. And we're going to... I could have gone on the main road, but these little back roads are just so much more fun. I may be wrong, but I think this is Sackett Hill Road. And above it, there's a road that goes off up the hill, uh, which is very aptly called Above All. So above, oh, look at that farm. That's one of those elegant, elegant older farms. Um, but anyway, above all, goes up to the kind of one of the higher spots in Warren. Uh, goes off there. And we're going to come down a hill here that has another, the kind of turn on it that uh, you really have to get down to 10 miles an hour to do it. Uh, besides it being a very, very steep hill and a very... Uh, hard, hard, hard turn to the left. It's also pitted and has, you know, potholes. It's not a pretty house. So we're, we're going to go down and hit just a crazy, crazy turn. Which again on the motorcycle is thrilling to do. So this is, again, with the camera, much more than it looks like it is. So, at the bottom of this hill, we're going to be coming back on to 45. And, oh no! At this point, when we crossed uh, uh, the road up there, uh, we've got gone on to 341. So, this is now 341, which is the road that comes to Woodville. I guess it's both. For a little bit here, it's both because the bottom of the hill here 
45 goes off to the right again. And I'm not going to take that section of road because I want to show you the Tanner's Valley. This is the open valley in Warren where the Tanner farm is. If you, That hill we're seeing up on the right there, that's Luke Tanner's Hill. And then this is the open valley for uh, the Tanner family. And again, all of this land was rented to this family by Yale University starting before the revolution. So for one shilling a year. Isn't that a funny thing to say? So that's the Tanner Farm. And we're going to turn off onto what's called College Farm Road. And again, it's called that because this land originally belonged to the college. It belonged to Yale. Yale's probably about 55 miles south of here. So it's sort of interesting that they owned land like this. Oh, it's not just the most beautiful country. I was very lucky. I got to uh, buy a house over here. So for a while I lived on this road. Just as pretty as can be. Quiet, except, you know, the wind would come up the valley. That uh, Lake Warmog is below us on the left. And, uh, yeah, that right there, that house I was in. Um, the wind comes through this valley. You wouldn't believe it, how hard it comes through. And this is all, you know, Tanner Fields off on the right above us. So, I'm going to take us down... Uh, to the center of New Preston on the main road here. This is one of the only bits of going on a main road I'm going to do. But uh, it's pretty, so I thought, you know, that would be a nice thing to do. Um, it's funny, I never know what to say when I'm on a big main road. I always sort of wonder, well, I could say this or I could say that. Um, we're still in Warren. Oh, I worried the camera a little bit there for a second. I wanted to make sure it was pointing. Look at that barn. Isn't that pretty? So, what's happening at the, um... Oh, and we went up that road. The, the one that went up the hill there. We went up to the Hopkins Vineyard that way. Uh, at, at another point. So... Let's see. Bottom of the hill will have the North Shore Road going off, and that really will have the beginning of Lake Warmog showing uh, off on, on our right. I love this. Name. So here we go. Now the Boulders Inn is off on the left down here a little bit, and the Tanner Hill Road that we came down before on another ride is right there going off to the left. And I think it will open up enough. There you go. So here, this is why I kept, kept the camera on. I wanted you to see that. Holy moly. So in the winter time, uh, back in the 30s and 40s, uh, they used to, this, this lake got very, uh, you know, well, we had very deep winters uh, back then, and they, <laughs> there was sort of a sport to see how long you could uh, take a car across this lake, and um, I'm afraid there's some cars at the bottom of the lake, but there was sort of a, a game of seeing if you could drive your car across Lake Warmog in the winter. And I don't know how many cars are down there. Maybe there's only one. But I, I remember the old timers talking about losing cars into the lake. Oh, and we got... I was sort of excited that we, I got behind some traffic here because right along here, I think, it might be a little bit further down, but there, when I was a child some kids had put a rope on one of the trees 
and they would hang off of the they they'd climb up the side of these wires and just swing out into the water which you know again was maybe a story down so it was a pretty big deal to go out out on the rope and then let go into the water and I'm, it could have been that tree i mean it, but it was somewhere along here um, i'm going to do another ride of going up uh, the west side of the the lake uh, which we can see off on the right we're, just, we're almost done with Lake, Lake Warmog there used to be a very nice restaurant here in the 50's where this town park is and they uh, uh, it, it, sadly it burnt down but there was, a, there was a nice restaurant there nice pizzeria in the 70's up on the left there and I'm going to try to go slowly enough that you can see Woodruff's uh, there was a, a sawmill right here. It's the most beautiful thing. Where is it coming up? Oh, I hope we get a little view of it. Yep. So there's the Woodruff's sawmill. And that... So we're below the lake, which means the Aspetuck River is just beginning right here. And the Aspetuck goes uh, kind of right through the middle of New Preston. And uh, we're coming up on New Preston, which means the end of the video. So, again, I should say my goodbyes. Uh, there's the New Preston um, supply. And Cheryl's Sandwich Shop, which is one of my favorite places. Okay, you guys. Thanks so much for coming along. And we'll talk to you another time. Bye.